Hello again, my friends. This is part three of my replanting my peace lilies or spathophyllum, whichever you call it. Now, in part one, I showed you how I pulled them out of my very dry soil that was in here, and they were looking kind of shabby and fainting, if you will. And, uh, or as we used to call it in the old, old days, my mother used to say, cases of vapors, or maybe it was her gran my grandmother. But uh, anyway, <laughs> they, uh, they kind of like hang over and they look like they're pretty exhausted. This one still is, is showing a little signs of it. It hasn't totally perked up again. And it's in rainwater and worm leachate, which came up from my worm bin. So uh, then I took the soil and I add it to the soil. Um, I should have worn gloves, shouldn't I? Anyway, um, rainwater and worm leachate. And then I put in the, remember the coffee filter, went in the bottom and that's to hold the soil back from washing out. And then I put the plants back in. The way I like to plant is I will fill this pot probably a half to three quarters of the way full and then I will start putting all of these in there and I'll get them kind of like where I want the roots to be it's easier to do it that way and try to just you know kind of like use my hand as a holder and then I will continue with my free hand to keep adding soil in around everything so that I have them placed and give everybody just their own little spot in the pot. Can you see down there? Can you see how that's, they're just not all touching each other. And that gives them a chance that all their roots are going to um, uh, start reaching out. And then you can see the little blue specks down there in white. That's actually miracle Grow Shake and Bake. Uh, yeah, Shake and Feed. Anyway, <laughs> sorry, this is, just slipped out. Shake and bake is, is from the old days, isn't it? And um, <clears throat> anyway, um, that's that's pretty much it. Um, I haven't added any Epsom salts to it. When I add Epsom salts, is actually um, about once a month. I'll take um, just a teaspoon of Epsom salts and I'll add it to uh, maybe a, a half gallon jug. And, and let it sit. This is rainwater, so I'll just let that sit for oh, an hour or so, let it really dissolve in there, and then I will water. And I really try to water all around the edge of the pot, you know, the inside edge. This is clay, and it's very absorbent, so instead of it sucking the, the liquids out of, away from the roots, it kind of uh, waters that pot in there. And sorry, I'm shifting around here, but um, let's see. Is I think that's I think that's probably about it. Now, the plants soaked. Remember, all these plants soaked in water, so they their roots got re resaturated, uh, and then this soil had quite a bit of liquids added to it, so it's saturated. When I add this back together, I'm not going to water again. This should be good, even in our Florida heat, this should be good for four or five days, and then I will come out and start to water again. One other thing I wanted to show you was this was one of the plants that was in there. And, you know, the, the this whole section had kind of turned yellow, and it was getting too much water or not enough nutrients, and it started to kind of rot out. However, all around here it was still viable and it was sending out small plants. And so several of these little guys, this one, this one, you know, they all came from here. So uh, I could throw this away or I could just take it and, and plant it in another pot all by itself and I'll betcha that this would still keep producing more little side shoots. My other uh, thing that I do is that I actually, I don't know if you can, you probably can't see, let me just take you out there and I'll show you. I have what I call kind of the dead zone. 
This is where the armadillo 